Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. One of Studio One's most powerful features is the seamless integration of Melodyne directly inside of Studio One. You might know this as a tool that you can use for vocal auto-tuning, but it's capable of so much more, including extracting the MIDI notes of any kind of audio loop. Let's take a look. So I have a little bit of a trans speed going on here, and this is from a construction kit where I actually don't know the uh, MIDI notes that were played to record these synthesizers. I really just have the audio files here and it sounds like this. Right, you can tell that the lead and the bass line are just sounding a little bit thin on their own, I'd say. So it would be really great if we could just keep the same melodic progression but layer it with a different sound or exchange the sound altogether. Now, if you tried to do this before without having the MIDI notes, that's not as easy as it sounds because what you'd have to do is shape the sound with insert effects and things like that, but it will never truly change from what it originally was. Whereas if you're working with MIDI, you can just exchange the sound and uh, yeah, switch it with anything else that you like. And um, that's just a whole lot more flexibility that you get this way. But usually without Melodyne, what you'd have to do is play this by ear you know, or uh, try to draw it in with the musical editor here in the piano roll until you get something similar. And that can be very tedious depending on how complex the material that you're working with is. Now, what you can do in Studio One, for example, on this lead here, is just hit Command and M or Control and M on Windows to open Melodyne on the selected event. And after you've done that, you want to click here where it says Algorithm and you want to change that to melodic because that's going to work the best for these kind of monophonic one note at a time synth leads, right? So we select melodic, we hit redetect, yes please, and check this out. After that's done, you can just drag and drop that directly onto an instrument track like this. And now I have the MIDI notes of what was played in this audio loop. I mean, this is crazy powerful because now I can use the U-He high, for instance, to play the exact same progression but with a completely different sound. This would be impossible if we just had the audio without the MIDI notes. And that could serve as an ideal layer to make everything just a bit brighter. Same with the baseline. We can just select the baseline event, then once again Command and M on a Mac or Control and M on Windows to open Melodyne. Change the algorithm to melodic once again. If you do this more often, you can also change the algorithm to the default melodic if you want to. And after that's done, you can already close Melodyne again because now you're able to drag and drop this baseline directly onto an instrument track. In this case, I've prepared the Mai Tai here because I find that a very awesome sounding bass synth. And it's amazing how well that works. Now, if you want to do this with polyphonic material like chords, that's also possible, but then you would need the full version of Melodyne. But let's check out what we were already able to do here. I mean, this is what we had before. We inserted these MIDI layers, sounded like this. And after just a couple of clicks, we have this. Right, that's already so much richer, so much more powerful, and that would be very hard to do if you tried to do this by throwing insert plugins into the already existing audio tracks. So I hope this gives you a bit of inspiration, guys. I mean, you can use this for all kinds of things. You could basically take your phone and then sing a melody directly into your phone, just into a voice memo or something like that. Get that over to your computer, and then you can turn that into MIDI notes for synthesizers to play. It gives you an incredible flexibility that you might not have expected from audio loops. Thank you for watching.